I would have to just throw it all away. After all of these years, one teacher has destroyed everything for me. A theater teacher at a magnet school in Northeast Miami-Dade refusing to take her students to a big theater conference, one that could help them get into college. Tonight, students tell us they're angry and hurt. CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola spoke to the students at Michael Crop High School and joins us live with that story. Gabby? Lauren Elliott, they are saying that they are bullied and they have been for months. Now, Dr. Michael Crop High School is a magnet school for the arts, but these students tell me there is more drama in the classroom than the stage. We've been being bullied for months now and it just, it won't end. This is our future in her hands and she's really just playing with it. It's not, it's not cool or funny. Senior year should be filled with fond memories, but for these crop students, they feel. I feel numb. Like I genuinely feel numb. They're part of the prestigious theater magnet program and have won many awards and accolades. And they've been looking forward to the Florida Theater Convention in Central Florida. Representatives from more than 50 colleges from around the country will be there. Students can audition and get their scholarships. And these seniors raised more than $5,000 to go. This week, their teacher, who just started this year, told them no one is going, and it'll no longer be a school-sponsored trip. They could go on their own, but they'd have to find a chaperone and pay for all of the expenses. The reason, they say, it? has Better changed it? daily. I didn't think she was serious. You, you want us to not go to the one place that this is our future. You don't want us to go. At first, they were told they didn't have enough chaperones for the boys, and therefore the boys couldn't go. Then they said the story changed. The text they showed me come from the teacher saying they didn't sign up on time and nobody could go. The district sent me this statement saying, quote, it's unfortunate that in this case, too few students completed the necessary travel and permission documents within the established timeline to allow the trip to move forward. I reached out to the theater conference officials and they tell me otherwise. They say every student applied on time and still have the ability to go. Amaya Roundtree is the president of the Students Theater Group. We sent emails to the board, the district, assistant principals, the principals, nothing's been done. The seniors say every 12th grader in the theater program is a minority and they say this is an issue of discrimination. And this is honestly bullying. Discrimination, racism, African-American boys, African-American girls, you don't want to see it succeed. So I followed up with the school district after convention organizers did tell me that these students did sign up on time. Now the district tells me that maybe the teacher had a different deadline that was possibly not met, but she really didn't tell me anything much more than that. And I also asked to speak with the teacher and the principal, but was told that it was already too late in the day. Back to you guys.